Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 5th, let me just see because I forget, the 5th to the 11th of December. Today is the 1st of December, so welcome in December and it's the last month of this year. I hope it's going to be a fabulous month for you, especially around the festivity times and let's get started. I'm also on Spotify, so welcome to the people on Spotify um, and uh, anywhere else that you are listening to my podcasts from. Also, I'm using the Star Tarot and I'm using the uh, Christmas Carol Tarot, the um, Oracle uh, Romance uh, Tarot and also uh, the Oracle and the Energy Oracle Cards. You come in with the Three of Wands. This means that plans are coming to fruition. Your abundance is on its way. Whether it's love or money or anything like that. You are getting, this is telling me that you are going to get more of the good things in life. You've also got the Tower. You might be electrified with this energy because we are in Sagittarius and wands are fire, energy, passion. So you might feel more elect uh, electrified. Electricity is pumping through your blood <laughs> because we've also got the tower. Don't take this as a negative thing. Take it as an adventure. You couldn't make a decision or a choice perhaps with regards to something and now the, de the uh, decision has been made by the divine and the cosmos. You've got a new beginning. Take it as an adventure and excitement and stand up, dust yourself off, forget about the past and change the present and the future for more better things to come. This could be unexpected. Perhaps you weren't counting on a change and something is changing just like that. You've also got the devil, so be careful. You've got the devil twice. You've got it in the uh, Christmas Carol uh, Tarot and you've got it in the Star Tarot. You come in with the devil. Don't let anybody push your buttons or pull your strings. Stand aside and step back from anybody that is mm, manipulating you or bossing you or blackmailing you. The devil also represents Capricorn, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn Aquarius. The devil is number 16, so you've got two sixes. So there you go, you've already got a double number. Now, um, there could be somebody around you that has a bad habit or an addiction, so be careful. If you have that, then stay away from the bad habits. If necessary, seek professional advice. And if it is somebody else, say, I'm sorry, I can't help you because you, I'm too emotionally involved. Please get professional help. Especially with regards in relationships or friendships, there need to be an equilibrium balance uh, within a relationship. This means trust, um, uh, uh, respect, um, treating each other with uh, care and nurturing but not to be manipulated by one party or one party deciding or have been pressurized into making a choice or a decision. Everybody is an individual and this is how you have to try to create respect and balance within a friendship or a relationship whether it's in romance or in business. Be careful because you could be pushed into making a decision because we've got the Empress, so that means the time is right to start something new. But I'm, I'm hearing somebody saying, have you finished everything? Don't start something new before you've finished the last project or the last issue. 
because you're taking on too much hay. And this could be a bad habit as well, that you're overworking, you're pushing yourself to the limit and you're making yourself busy and stressed out and then you can start developing bad habits. So don't take on anything at the moment if you've already got too much going on. If not, it is time, it's fertile to get pregnant or to start a new project or an investment um, because we've got the Empress, she represents Libra, also Mother Earth, so you could be dealing with a mother-in-law or uh, your own mother or a mother figure. They could be the one that's pushing you to do a certain way. Then, yes, sorry, uh, I am a mother, but mothers are usually right. But even mothers should give their children, whether they're, especially when they're grown up, room to grow, to expand, to discover. They should only be the advisor and the guide. So please do take care who is pushing you. Mothers and fathers do have good intentions, but if you are older than 18, because this platform is for people older than 18, then I suggest that if you can't speak to your mother or your father, get an arbitrator. That means that there could be um, a mediator or a social worker could help you in discussions with your parents. Also, you have the Nine of Pentacles midweek, and the Nine of Pentacles means an end of a phase and a new beginning. There could be promotions, there could be uh, lottery tickets or scratch cards being won. Also, it could be somebody in the family that could uh, give you money. Again, an ending to monetary difficulties um, or an, a new beginning. This means that you could finally start a job that will pay more and respect you more and that won't boss you about. That you can be creative because it's lying next to the devil and the devil is lying underneath the nine of pentacles. I know money is important, especially nowadays, but money doesn't buy love, for instance. Money is evil. Yes, money can turn people nasty, misery, greedy, um, creating bad habits. So put some away for a rainy day and only spend what is necessary. So when you have a big ticket item like a car or a house that you want to buy, then you've got the money. Again, be careful because you are surrounded by the devil. Be careful of bad habits, burning the candle on both sides, for instance. It's not only drink, sex, rock and roll, uh, but it also is working too hard and um, not having enough time for your family and friends. On Friday, you have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups means that you could be thinking about the past when you had a carefree life. Yes, we all grow up and we do have a carefree life, but even some of us when we were younger, we, had, we didn't have the worry of money, but somehow or rather as children, we do because we see what our parents do. And there might have been a shortage of money, but and that's why you most probably could be fixated or obsessed about money. But it's better to take it step at a time. Seek somebody's advice if you need financial guidance or on how to keep the books, on how to save money. Definitely. The Six of Cups means that and you remember the old and the negative and the good memories. Remember the good memories. The, here is a unicorn flying through the sky with the Gemini, I think. It's more like a star sign, the two twins. With the sun shining on lotus uh, flowers. It's a beautiful picture. And so stand together, like I said, in a relationship or a friendship, partnership of any kind. There needs to be togetherness. Then you stand strong. Let go of the old memories and negative memories, but keep the good memories. Learn 
from all the situations and memories and change it. You can change it right now. Like I said with the tower, it is, there's a new beginning coming in. You're more than halfway in a situation or in a, with a question that you have. You've got the Emperor, uh, an advisor that um, below the Six of Cups. He represents municipalities, institutions. This could be school, hospital, governmental institutions. You could be could be a lawyer, an advocate, a professor, a teacher, um, um, the priest, the high priest, or the justice of the peace. This could also be a bookkeeper or an accountant. So seek advice, especially about your finances if you're coming into money. And you don't and you're young, like just 18, 19, get advice. The mother figure is nearby the nine of pentacles. So ask your mum for help on how to save, how to be economic. She's the housewife, she's the best. Economic uh, econo economist, the um, like a bookkeeper and an accountant. Okay, she knows how to make something new out of something old. Usually, you've also got the Ace of Pentacles at the weekend. So this means that you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Emperor, by the way, is Aries. Again. The Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the Divine or the Cosmos coming in. Uh, so be a peel, uh, keep your eyes peeled on what's happening around you. Keep your ears open. You might hear something through the grapevine. Could be about a promotion or a job going. You might be hearing something through the grapevine. This is like a, a star within a circle with all kinds of roots or branches spreading out. So that's why I heard the word grapevine. So you might be getting some news that could lead to a new beginning. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles, um, and the Ace of Pentacles is something that's tangible, durable, and for long term, whether it's a relationship, a job, or buying a house, or buying something, um, that will bring in a rediment time and time again. Also, you might be more dynamic as we have temperance underneath the Ace of Pentacles, trying to keep the balance. Again, that word balance, like I said, don't let anybody push your buttons. Balance is, is necessary in life. So try to take time out to meditate, contemplate and evaluate each situation as they arise. Don't worry about anything until you come to the bridge and you have to cross it. Then start worrying. Our fears will not happen most probably usually 95 times out of 95% out of, uh, of the time our fears don't come true. Deal with each little bit step of the way when you come to the bridge and then you can cross it. Also, you might be trying to balance not only your finance or the time at work and at home, but also your heart, your mind, your solar plex and your body. Temperance represents Sagittarius. So I believe Sagittarius is a, a could be a person but it is also a very important time for you. In the Love Romantic Oracle, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This could be related to um, the three of wands coming together, plans coming together. <clears throat> also temperance. Is also a fire sign Sagittarius. Now we've also got appreciation from the energy oracle. Show your appreciation, show your gratitude for what you have and don't look at what you don't have. You might have to go like here in the ace of pentacles, it could be a bramble picture. You might, you might be so, um, you might, sorry, um, 
yet around you there might be bramble bushes so just focus on these worries uh, a little less and you could um, and be focused on what is happening around you so that you don't get stuck in the bramble bushes pause and experience the blessing of this single um, beautiful card and she's holding a flower so look at nature could be one with nature and be beautiful and see the beauty of nature and what is around it so don't be uh, don't don't um, don't look at what you don't have look at what you do have like with the tower look at the past learn from the past use it to your advantage to change the present and the future now um, and that is your reading for this week Aquarius there could be a new person coming in but I think you're making plans and your plans are coming to fruition it's awesome I hope you've appreciated it now I'm going to do your extended reading for the um, uh, paying members of Charlie's Angels member club okay if you would like to become a member then look underneath the video next to the subscription button please do subscribe like and leave a reaction I love to hear from you and I'll get back to you ASAP and next to the subscription button you'll see the joining button you'll get a, to see the extensions also um, exclusive uh, live videos and things like that you'll get the to see the uh, extension earlier than normal you'll get a badge next to your name and also four images that I've created to use in the lives and reactions your your name will be highlighted by the badge take care stay safe and know that you're blessed and I'll see those in the extended for another reading. Thank you.